Okay my boys, you all know why I called you guys here, right? Because you told us about those two tall motherfuckers. He sang in voice. We need to pummel those guys right now. Yeah, guys. Me and Flogga were in a fight with those monkeys two days ago, and we're not gonna let that slide. We'll teach those guys that just because you're all new here, don't mean they can meddle with us so easily. That's right, Drox. Now, any suggestions about what we can do? I mean, I guess we can beat them up right. Cause you told me that they're kinda weak and defenseless. Good idea, Bentley. In fact to add on to that, we need a lookout so we can track down those guys. Then, we'll send six people to pound East San Andreas. Next, we'll need something to transport them to a flat terrain, dig up a hole, then bury them underground. And from there, that will teach them a good lesson to never meddle with us again. It's their funeral basically, if we're talking about burying them. Sure is. I'll be the lookout, and decide on who's finna gang up on these Sang and Royce. And I'll get some people to dig up a hole while you guys are transporting them to us. Then once we place them in, fill the hole back up, and put the tombstones up. This is a perfect plan. It can't fail at all. Let's get on with it, gang. Yeah! I right, then, let's get the trollin'. I see them on the field, gang. For this one, I need Flocker, Terrell, Wharton, Trenchy, Nidak, and Drox. Get on the turf and pound those guys. We on it. Let's roll crew. The rest of y'all, get to a flat terrain and dig a hole so we can hold their funeral. You heard the man. Follow me guys, I know where to dig at. You guys came back to just to dig your own graves. Shocking. Actually, you're wrong brother, get them boys. Let's take them down. Huh. Wait what? <laughs> This way! This way! Alright, the hole is dug. Now we gotta wait for the guys to bring the dead homies here. They should be here in a sec. We're here gang. Our bad we took so long. Those guys were heavy to put in a coffin. Let's hurry and place the dirt back in the hole. Then put the tombstones on it afterwards. We did again. He sang and Royce are no more. I agree with you, Roscoe. Now, let's get back to the auditorium and chill out until school ends. Alright guys, let's hurry up and inform everyone about this. We finna be legends for this, I can feel it. What the fuck happened here? Why is there a tombstone and has E sang and Royce's names on them? This is peculiar. Let me get old man Kirkin out here for a second. Yo. Mr. Kirkin, we have a little issue outside. Scarloe, what issue is it? Cause if you got in some trouble out there, you know what's gonna happen. That's not the case. I see two newly stabilized tombstones outside that has E. Sang and Royce's names on them. To me, it looks pretty weird. I need your help to find out what happened. Hang on. Tombstones with E. Sang and Royce's names on them? Okay. Now you're serious for once Scarloe. I better check along with you and see what is going on. Follow me. The area isn't far from here. See. These are the tombstones that I seen right here. I see. But my question is, who placed them here, and what if e Sang and Royce are down there? They're bound to be underground since these are stabilized here, but that only means... Wait a second. I think I know who did this. It had to have been Flocker and his homeboys. Cause they were vengeful after they got suspended for getting into a fight with them two days ago. Jmar even told me about them. I remember I suspended them. So you're on to something. 
Remember the time me and my friends buried you a month ago? Well, they plotted to do the same thing we did to you, but to two of my homies. If that's the case, we have to catch them and suspend all of them for this. Most likely, they're probably near the stage, so let's head to the auditorium right now. Yo, that was fun. Most fun I've ever had with you guys for real. Agreed, we gotta do stuff like this more often. On guard. You ain't gonna be doing shit. Cause you all are in deep shit. What the hell are you two doing here? We already know you guys ganged up on Isang and Royce, placed them in coffins, and buried them underground. Scarloe did the same a month ago, but this is twice as bad. And, so, so what if we did it? They deserved it for meddling with Flocka and Terrell in the past. Exactly. It's in the past you idiot. Get rid of your grudge. And don't use the past as an excuse to hurt other students. Now, you are all suspended for 259 days each. Get out of here right now while I call all of your parents about this. What? No, don't Mr. Kirkham. It's too late for that flocker. The damage has already been done. I agree with Kirkin. Better scram before you get in more trouble. Flocker, how dare you and your friends jump two students at school and bury them underground? That was the lowest and most harshest thing you have ever done. That's it, you're grounded for 259 days. Go to bed right now. Why? <laughs> Terrell, how could you? Why would you take part of a gang up, knock out two people, and bury them underground with your friends? That's it, you are grounded for 259 days. Get your ass to bed now. Knee dog. I can't fucking believe you got into a gang up at school and buried two kids underground in caskets. That does it. You're grounded for 259 days. Take your shameful ass to bed now. Why? Trenchy. How dare you and your friends gang up on two kids and bury them under the ground? That is it boy, you are grounded for 259 days for this. Get your slick ass to bed right now. Why? <laughs> What the fuck? Roscoe, I'm at a loss of words right now. I can't believe that you and your friends ganged up on two people, placed them in coffins, and buried them underground as revenge. That's it, you're grounded for 259 days. Run to bed before I extend your grounding time. Yeah. Binky. How dare you and your friends gang up on two people at school and then bury them underground. That was harsh, and you will be grounded for 259 days for that. Go to bed this instant, son. Why? Baltimore. Are you serious? How could you get in trouble with a bunch of students by beating two people up and buried them under the ground? That's it. You are grounded for 259 days. Go to your room right now. Tayshawn, how dare you and your friends beat up two kids at school, put them in caskets, and then buried them as revenge for your friends? That crosses a line, you are grounded for 259 days. Bed, right now. Are you kidding me, Rudy? Ganging up on Isang and Royce and burying them underground with your friends? Low move. You are grounded for 259 days. Go to your room right freaking now. Al Sean, how dare you and your friends bury two people underground after you beat them up? That's it, son. You're grounded for 259 days. March directly to bed right now. Drug. 
sucks. Why did you and put yourself in a gang up and bury two people at school? Why? That is it, you are granted for 259 days. To the back room, right now. And then, 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 I can't believe that you got with a bunch of students and buried two people. Stupid move. Now, you are grounded for 259 days. Transport to your room now. Yeah. Bentley, how do you and your friends pull off a gang up and bury Sang and Royce? That does it this time, you are grounded for 259 days. Get your ass to that bedroom of yours now.